you know, Liam, since we last did a podcast, um, we're, we're now using the guest chairs. We are. Which, <laughs> yeah, I didn't even realize yeah, that. Which, <laughs> far we're more support it, yeah. than uh, the, the chairs that came with this this humble table that you built. Did, <laughs> that, that I built? Yeah. yeah no, we, 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 we co-built it. Yeah. Into this. We, we, we spent a lot of time cursing and mm-hmm. sweating in a hot-ass storage unit. Storage unit. Um, but we did it. But it goes in line with the movie, this movie we're talking about, because this movie is all about luxury items. And right now, I mean, we're seated in the highest of luxury folding chairs. Look at that. Right there. See that back That linoleum or whatever that is. Yeah, I don't even know what material this is. I don't but know what linoleum really is. Linoleum's got like plastic right there. I've never my said linoleum before in my life, Liam. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck linoleum is. Do I look like I would know what linoleum is? Well, you know... I, I, I have it in my head what linoleum is. You know, I like like a linoleum cleaner. You know, like all that stuff. It's like a special cleaner. Oh my god. Anyway, we're, you know. we're we're not talking about linoleum, Liam. We're talking about we're talking about American Psycho, oh, the two thousand one right. film classic, film bro, um, tough guy. No doubt that that, that is Sigma. What they say about the film. Oh, is that what they call it's it? Sigma. Sigma Alpha. Um, Al- yeah. Uh, Zeno, Alpha bro Morph. film. Yeah. That's uh, um, that, that's what they say about that. Movie. Yeah. yeah, I guess that's kind of been the theme of like the movies w- we're reviewing is like the, you know, the Sigma film bro movies. It is, yeah, that's um, I mean that was that was on purpose. It's not like we just stumbled upon that. Like exactly, that was intentional. That we're we're talking about all these movies. I mean, it's a big thing of debate right now. People are people are thinking about it. Yeah, they they, they got in their heads like, should I or should I not be a Sigma male? Yeah, you know, like should I forsake what I've been taught or should I? You know, continue on and conformity which is a, a big theme of the the film american psycho no doubt. how do you think patrick bateman falls um, uh in the the sigma dumb compared to joker and travis Ooh. um i mean i feel like he's a lot more of a sigma than yeah than those two like truly right maybe, maybe? yeah um, yeah 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 in a literal definition yeah like yeah. joker was a broke loser Travis was a broke winner, um, and then Patrick Bateman is a rich winner. There we go. Yeah, exactly. But he's Typical. still corrupted um, in the same type of way. This is true. You know what I really wanted to ask? What's that? Um, you know that one scene in the movie where he gets scared shitless of the guy because like, he puts his hands around the back of his neck. Yeah. And he's like, okay, he did. yeah. Well, he's sort of yeah. Yeah. Um, are you going to ask if that's ever happened to me? Is that <laughs> well, I mean, sure, we can also talk about that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I was just going to say, like, like, is, like, that guy also, like, supposed to be, like, a psychopath or something? Or is he just supposed to be gay? Yeah, I think he's just supposed to be gay. Okay, yeah. all right. God damn. <laughs> I, mean, like, I, I mean, in the 80s, you know. I mean, I don't know. I, I feel like if I was a gay guy and another guy, like, still, if anyone, like, if I just felt like a, like a pair of hands, like, wrap around the back of my neck. I don't know. Maybe I'm not. I don't think he gaily. was taking it you know that I mean? way. I think he was taking it like he's being sensual. I know. Like, I don't think that's where my mind would like automatically go. Oh, you so know? you're saying that if if you were a gay man attracted to Patrick Bateman and he came up and put his hands around your neck, you wouldn't think, "Oh, he's trying to hook up with me." You would think, "Oh, he's trying to choke me." Exactly. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. And then, especially after the point where um, Patrick Bateman was like. Like, oh, like, what the fuck? No, and then he was still, like, toodaloo, like, high, yeah. like, sort of thing. You know? Yeah. He was still going for it. He was still pressing. Right, right. Like, was he just... Because like, at that point, he had to know that he was fucking with them, right? Like, that he wasn't going for this. Um, Maybe he's just kind of, like, freaky like that. Like, he's into, you know, this, this getting is, choked out in public bathrooms. And, this is true. This is true. This is true. Yeah. He, he wants to be... Yeah, okay, this is turning into a sex talk now. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, <laughs> um, back to American Psycho. Liam, it came out in 2001. When I first saw this movie, when I was in middle school, and um, I... I so I was in middle school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Getting educated. I, I, that's the thing is, I didn't realize... I, it was so well made, like, as an 80s film, that I genuinely thought this movie was from... 89 or whatever year it takes place in it did have a very good like quality um to it. yeah um but uh 
Yeah, I, I don't know. You, you, you see, growing up, you know, like watching, like I, I grew up watching a lot of like '80s stuff. Yeah. Um, even though I wasn't born in the '80s, I was born at the very end of the '90s. Right. And it, like, I have nothing to do with the '80s, but I grew yeah. up watching it them just because my parents. Um, did, did Did you also have the same uh, sort story? of? Yeah. I mean, well, I watched a lot of like early '90s, like late 80s movies i guess like all the arnold schwarzenegger movies and like all the batman movies and like uh, you know a lot of those big sort of action like that's sort of when like the blockbuster movie started was like in that sort of era yeah yeah definitely, definitely. i mean like it, it it really like we're in kind of like a niche joke, um you and i because trina you know she's just a little younger than both of us right yeah and she doesn't like she didn't grow up watching 80s movies yeah like like no like not at all like it, it's it's out turn this volume cartoons up. different yeah everything's different it, it's only just a couple of years and it, 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 it's all different maybe it's lifestyle too yeah who knows but yeah i mean you know there's always those weird jumps between like what people like when you know even like a few years apart it's always like these kids listening to these rap music nowadays i know we're way off topic now but <laughs> yeah. like the rap music these days you know, I, I was always a fan of rap music, but a lot of the rap music now that's on the radio, I'm like, I, I, don't, gonna, I don't know what's going I don't. I feel like I'm if I'm turning into an old man, man. Well, see, like, this is always the phenomenon, right? Yeah. Like, the old people always like the older music. Yeah. Like, why? Like, why Like why can't, or why can't the stereotype be the opposite? Like, why isn't the stereotype the opposite, you know? Yeah. And, and when like, it is, like, an outlier, it's always, like, he's the hip old man. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, wearing fedoras and shit. <laughs> yeah, that's what hip people wear now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They wear fedoras. fedoras. Oh, I, I saw an ad there the other day. I'm sorry, we're really, really hurry up. Hurry up and finish the I story. I saw the ad there the other day um, for like a medication. Right? Yeah. Like it was a medication and it was like some guy and he was like, I'm down for Cymbalta or whatever the hell it was, right? Like I don't know what yeah. it was. Um, but like I'm down for it and he's wearing like a fedora and like he looks all hip and cool but he's like 65 and um, like he doesn't it doesn't sound right coming out of his yeah. mouth you know like it, yeah. it's one of those situations it's like, like saying like it's lit to take exactly you know, yeah. I, I can't name any drugs I can't l- like some. he's not doing it ironically yeah you know yeah um, but anyway Patrick Bateman Patrick you know Bateman. I mean how do you think he got those sorts of um but yeah, what was his childhood covered um, at all? It might have been in the book. Um, I don't. I don't know. You obviously didn't read the book. Um, no, no, I no. didn't, but I for different reasons. <laughs> ah, I see. I, I yeah, didn't I, read the book because I didn't want to. You didn't read the book because I'm um, contrarian. Okay. I yeah. Sure. I, I like to fight sure, you yeah, on that's things. Why. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. When this movie was being made, it was like uh, the the author of the book. He said that he never wanted. The film he he never thought that the book could be made into a film, and apparently huh. the book is like way more graphic than the really? film. Okay, like I guess he eats a girl at some point. Okay, and um, I, I feel like they touched on that yeah. in the movie um, where they had him say it, and then they kind of like briefly passed over him like actually yeah. trying to eat somebody or something. Right. Um, and then um, I, I guess the character in the book was supposed to be based off of Tom Cruise. Like a mix of Donald Trump and Tom Cruise. <laughs> really? Yeah. Damn. And then... Um, I can see it, that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then when it came to the movie, I think Tom Cruise like was trying to make them not make the movie or something. He was trying to stop it. He was okay, trying to yeah. stop the movie. Gotcha, gotcha. He was... He j- you know how he always like Mission Impossible like rides on like the bottom of a plane yeah. while it's like flying? Yeah. He was like... The, the movie was like being made and then he jumped on the side of the plane and he was like banging on the window like, like don't do it that was, stop making this film. exactly yeah cut it off <laughs> yeah <laughs> he was like he was like right outside the studio like climbing up a building and he's like <laughs> stop making this film <laughs> Jesus, you yeah. see him crawl under yeah. the wire the, the, the chicken wire on the ceiling <laughs> oh, he's he's just, really going after everywhere. the film oh, oh yeah um, old man guy yeah, I you know he, he's an interesting character just in general. Tom, Tom Cruise, Cruise or Patrick yeah, Bateman? I mean both, but um, yeah. Tom, Tom Cruise especially. I feel like. All right, let know, me like, ask you about this, Liam, because I have this in my notes. Don't want to get off topic. Was I watching the movie? Yeah, we got to stop ourselves <laughs> from getting off topic too much. Well, what you think? Um, so I have in my notes white underwear. Are, okay. Are you? I'm not a fan of white underwear. I, when I was a small child, yeah, I wore whitey tights. That's the way to go. Yeah, exactly. When you're a child, exactly. But, but now. I'm a man. Yeah. And I wear plaid boxers. Yeah. Boxers. Boxers, period. 
not no no boxer briefs. This you know, it's, this movie and Joker, they both wear <laughs> white underwear. Really? In a, you don't remember in Joker when he's like dancing around in his underwear? I'm sorry, I, I don't stare at guys. It's just it's just not me. Eh? <laughs> uh, it must be yeah. an '80s thing or something, but you know, that, that, you, white underwear. You can't do white underwear because no matter how hard you try, it's not going to stay clean. Yeah, yeah. This is true. This is true. But maybe true. that's like his like wealth thing. It's like I'll wear it he's, once and then buy like, a new pair. The, the, that could be the case, or, or like, what if he's so clean, right? That like he that could will be just too. never. Like, what if he shits and he doesn't need a wipe? He doesn't need a wipe. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Just, it, that, that's happened to me a couple times before, actually. Really? Like, yeah. 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 Just like, like a rare occurrence, right? Yeah. Um, like something like a freak of nature. Yeah. And uh, and bada bing, I'm nothing. But Patrick Bateman and his cleanliness habits. I mean, yeah. Apparently, he eats like clean food. He like you know he eats healthy. Well, no, actually, I don't know because. I mean, the movie is all about him going to restaurants and, like, how much he loves, you know, going yeah. to fancy restaurants yeah. and wearing fancy clothes and eating fancy women. And it's like... Uh, <laughs> eating he, fancy women. <laughs> <laughs> that's, oh. like the, that's, like, the basis of the movie is, like, materialism. Mm-hmm. That, uh, all the videos I watched about it on YouTube, they kept saying it was yuppie culture. Gotcha. I do this so much. Yuppie. Yuppie culture. Yeah. I mean, hey, I mean, that, that's what they were saying. Yeah. It I'm works. quoting them, so, yeah. you know... Mm-hmm. Uh, and I did a bit of research into that, and it's like a type of like neoliberalism, where it's like you can still be successful like in capitalism, but also um, like have liberal like yeah, views. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, and so I, it, it is kind of interesting. I, like in the beginning of the movie, you see him like having a conversation with his friends, and he's talking about how like. The most important things in the world are like ending apartheid and like civil rights for yeah. women and and minorities. I remember that. Yeah. And he yells at his friend for being anti-Semitic. And that's um, right. Yeah. Cool with the anti-Semitic jokes. For yeah. So, comments. You know, he's a he's a hard and fast lib, but it's a it's kind of weird to see like in real life how he's sort of become like a conservative icon. Yeah, that is funny. That is definitely funny. Yeah. I mean, I but don't know. It is, I, yeah, go. I, I think that the film's pretty accurate in terms of how they portray um, the left. Um, yeah. But what yeah. was I saying? He's like a conservative he, icon. Yeah. Like, and he, uh, but it's, so it's like he's, he has these sort of like liberal ideologies, but also he doesn't actually care about stuff. He like, he doesn't care about civil rights. He doesn't care about, you know, rights for women. He's mm-hmm. just saying that because he mm-hmm. wants to have like the smartest answer out of the group. Exactly, uh, yeah. and like it, for him, his priority is just uh, be top. Like, yeah, exactly. In any argument or whatever, have the best argument, have the best uh, card, mm-hmm. have the nicest suits and haircut, and um, hey, no doubt. He, I, there is something weird. I don't know if I took a note on it. Um, when he brings the two prostitutes to his house to have a threesome. He, mm. uh, where is it in my notes? Fuck. Liam, yeah, fill, fill the air. Oh, right? shit. Oh, <laughs> shit. Okay, okay, I yeah. On he, no, I, I have in my notes. He desperately wants to impress the prostitutes. Because, um, like, when he's showing them around, he's like, do you like my apartment? And they're like, yeah. And he's like, don't you want to know what I do for a living? And they're like, not really. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. so, he like, he just wants people to be impressed he, with he, him. He's just fishing for the comments. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. The, the approval. Yeah. And, um. Uh, and there was a scene when he's like carrying one of the bodies out of his apartment and he runs into one of his friends and he yeah he's like oh where did you get that nice bag yeah and then and wherever it was from i don't remember where it was from but um, can you imagine you have like a designer bag and you just use it to lug around dead bodies that's a flex yeah it's definitely a flex i mean can't be used in any trash bags or anything i mean yeah that'd be too obvious no 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 and it's also not classy enough exactly Exactly, exactly. You know, maybe that's the way to do it. Classic murder. Nobody sees it coming. Yeah. I mean, it, it worked for him. Because, so, <clears throat> talk about the ending of the film. Uh, there's some discourse on the internet of, like, whether or not, you know, the, the events of the film happened. Mm-hmm. So, 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 run me through the end there again. Because I remember at the end thinking that, like, nothing really bad happened. Um, well, yeah, nothing bad happened to him. Like he he, he went on a murderous rampage. Yeah. He calls his lawyer, basically admits to everything <clears throat> that he'd done. Yeah. 
and then and he then was kind of like sees his like, lawyer yeah, and I then he's just guy. like oh that was hilarious gotcha yeah um <laughs> what was that about um paul paul paul, paul allen yeah paul allen because mm-hmm. he killed paul allen right right but he his lawyer was it his lawyer who said that he had just had yeah he was like i just him? had dinner with him the other day okay yeah. gotcha, gotcha. um so did, did he actually well that's the thing is the director had said that in her mind the everything that happened in the film is real it's not he didn't dream it it wasn't like you know it wasn't all faked or it was all, it, it all actually happened but it's just everyone is so sort of like caught up in their own caught up in their own sort of lives or ideas or you know whatever mm-hmm. that they don't even really care yeah like they're gotcha. all also patrick bateman's they're just just in their own senses yeah it's, yeah gotcha, gotcha. like the the there's an interesting scene when uh he goes to paul allen's apartment and he's looking around at the apartment and mm-hmm. everything is gone and he runs into the realtor and he's like what happened to everything in here and then she's like then she's like don't worry about it like i'm trying to sell this apartment gotcha. and um, apparently that was supposed to be like her way of saying like hey you know don't get in the way of me trying to make some money selling this apartment gotcha 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 huh yeah. you know oh my God. I, I don't remember that part at all actually that, that, that one. Wait, what, what I the miss, fuck I miss do that you one. do when you like watching these movies you're not taking <laughs> notes you're not you know you don't remember what happens in them you know what i'm doing joseph what are you doing drinking <laughs> <laughs> Patrick oh, yeah. would be disappointed in you, Liam. He would. Let me does, tell you. Does, does he drink? Yeah, I think he does. Gotcha. But I think he d- he says he like doesn't do it in excess or something. I don't know. I think so. Yeah. He's definitely a mm-hmm. calorie counter. Yeah, yeah. He, you know, he. That's right. He has all the the, the, the routines. Face yeah, yeah, yeah. And the workouts. Oh, yeah. He gets spit the fuck out. Yeah. For every goddamn day, I I couldn't do that like at all yeah but it was also the 80s you know that's just how people dress in the 80s i, I guess it's true yeah yeah it, it was skincare and everything uh, big in the maybe 80s not the skincare the i don't know oh uh, that's I don't, I, I don't know i don't know too many men at least who have like an intense skincare routine yeah but maybe it is oh. a thing for like you know patrick bateman types of like maybe you know. a bad acne in high school or something you know? yeah maybe yeah oh yeah yeah don't know don't know Oh, man guy you have any more notes there yeah let me look at some more of my notes it's you know i don't take good notes but they're there yeah so okay the real versus fiction it, it like there are some moments where the atm it says like when he's like trying to draw money from the atm it says please feed me a cat and then so he murders the cat and shoves it into the atm yeah that's right <laughs> jesus and then he calls to make a reservation at dorcia and then the guy on the phone is just laughing at him. It's like, was that in his head? Like, because yeah, that's how that whole murder spree started, right? Like with him oh, shooting with that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So damn, damn, damn. Over I mean, something the director kind of stupid. said that you know everything in her opinion, at least everything at the end of the movie did actually happen. Yeah, I mean it makes sense. He blows up like a police car. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Did yeah, you no, that's right. yeah that? no, yeah. Yeah, no, no. He had the big shootout you, in the Liam? street. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I know, I know. It takes me a second. <laughs> I love the part when he, he, like, walks into the building and the janitor is there, and then he walks out of the building, and then he walks back in, shoots him, and then leaves. Oh, yeah, Jesus Christ. Rest um, in peace, rest in peace. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know. You know, it, it, it seemed like it was all kind of over something stupid but at the beginning of the movie he they said that like his his mask of sanity was slipping yeah you know like he wasn't going to be able to hold it anymore and yeah um w- which is kind of what i thought was going on like in that moment like uh-huh. i was like god fucking damn like yeah. it, it's all going down right now and then everything worked out fine PG yeah and I, I okay. mean, it, the thing is that like he's proud of all his actions and he tells everybody like you know i'm a murderer he basically confesses to everyone except for the detective but he's just like i love he's like i love killing women and playing yeah. with their blood and he they just kind of sh- shiv on yeah that's it's like the difference i guess you know if we're comparing to other films is patrick bateman is like proud of his psychosis or at least he acknowledges it mm-hmm. um and he's he's more accepting of the fact that he is crazy and he doesn't really want to do anything about it up until the end when he sort of admits to everything but then nobody really cares i got you i got you i got you yeah i mean um whereas like they, tr- yeah 
Oh, I was just gonna like talk on like the like the psychosis part of it. Like yeah. I mean, like I guess it makes sense, mm-hmm. you know. Um, like like a lot of like people who are in psychosis, there they just like get this like they they just they're just desensitized yeah. to everything, right? Like and it, yeah, it, it's just numb. Like no matter how crazy shit, like like you, yeah. If I was in psychosis right now, you could tell me the craziest shit ever, and I'd just be like, yeah, no. yeah. And like, the thing is, he is everybody's in their own. Yeah, he is like desensitized to it, but he also like knows what he's doing is fucked up and like wrong yeah yeah which is, um, which is why he hides it yeah um, so he knows and he's learned over time that obviously what he does is wrong but do you think he actually is proud of it because i remember like when he was on the phone with his lawyer mm-hmm. he was bawling like, yeah he, i don't he was think crying. that he's proud of it i think he just like he just sort of knows he's gonna get away with it and he's just like sort of nonchalant about it gotcha 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 huh? yeah oh huh? pretty sigma baller sigma male dude yeah yeah I, I like the part when he's having the threesome and he 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 says um, like don't just stare at it eat don't it. just stare at <laughs> yeah. it eat it that's my yeah. favorite line in the movie like sabrina jesus don't christ. just stare at it eat it <laughs> jesus christ he's so direct you know you know what he's a direct kind of guy yeah and then yeah. he's just he's he's just watching himself in the mirror the whole time exactly flexing just yeah. flexing yeah. um <laughs> jesus I, well then, yeah and then so then afterwards after they all had sex yeah that's when he beat the shit out of them or something or like what? yeah he must have like roughed them up or something because when they left his apartment they all had like bruises on them and, yeah, and they're like pissed but they took yeah. money anyway mm-hmm. gotcha, gotcha. do you think um do you think this movie would have had sort of because uh, it was controversial when it came out and a lot of people had problems with it um and it is mm-hmm. like toned down from the book so do you think had they stuck closer to you know the events of the book it would have it still would have been as popular or would it face even more criticism i don't know i i I think that when it was released yeah um from what i hear about movies right like i feel like it would have faced more criticism right yeah Uh, i I feel like it would not have been received very well but um because it was back in the 80s right like well not just william this movie didn't come out oh that's right that came out like 2000 yeah right yeah on the dot yeah um I mean, I guess people were pretty getting more accepting about all that stuff in yeah. 2000s. I mean, I think the, now is like a, a time, like not the big like commercial films, but if you want to see films with like wild shit, like, you know, kinda, there's stuff out there. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So well, what would you say the era is for like the craziest shit uh, movie wise? Probably like the 70s. I think so? Yeah. Good you, good you. Or yeah, just I- any time like in a different country. Like foreign films are like way wilder yeah. than like yeah, American definitely, films. Definitely Bollywood. I mean, yeah, those Bollywood <laughs> movies are always so disgusting with all the gore and violence and cannibalism. Oh, oh horrible! Oh horrible man, stuff. I know, get so scared when I watch a Bollywood film. You know? <laughs> I I haven't watched a Bollywood film ever. Really? I don't think. Yeah, I think I, I watched I a couple. Gotta, I haven't sat down. Maybe the, gotcha. once we finish all the Sigma movies, we can get into some Bollywood. We can get into some Bollywood. That sounds great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus. We can perform a dance number. Hey, there we go. Is that what they do in Bali? What they dance? Yeah, they dance. Yeah. It's like a big, like a big, there's always a big dance number. I, I feel like you're right. Yeah. I, I feel like there was a scene where like, like, uh, like a guy was about to get, I saw a clip, right? Yeah. Um, of a guy about to get beat by a security guard, but they ends up like start like dancing yeah. and like doing flips and stuff. And mm-hmm. he just, um, like jumps over all the guards and yeah, like takes them all out with a karate chop and, yeah, I mean that's that's how dancing. a normal fight goes. I don't yeah. know what you're talking about, Liam. I, this is true. Yeah, especially over in India. Yeah, yeah. It's the way um, they do things. Really. Uh, what else do I have? Okay, I, uh, so I guess we can sort of end on this note. Uh, when he kills Paul Allen, and he's he's playing the Huey Lewis and the News song "Hip to Be Square." Yeah, yeah. And he's oh. giving this speech about how the song is about you know not wanting to conform with society and Mm -hmm. creating your own individualism and that's why he likes the song so much where but it does like contrast his character of like this guy who's so concerned about what society thinks about him and wanting to conform yeah but wanting to be the best within that's actually really true because i remember him straight up saying like i want to fit in um to uh what's her name um but yeah I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe he just has to fit in. You know, maybe that—that's what he has to do. So therefore, he tells his um, what's her fucking name? Um, oh, his fiance. I yeah, don't remember her name either. Yeah. Um, 
he, he tells his fiance that they're uh, I don't know I'm losing my train of thought yeah but, oh um, I, I, one more thing I, I, this uh, this is like a pretty well known fact about the movie or not well known but it's like a well spoken on thing about the movie is the the scene the first scene where he meets with the detective and he's like interviewing him yeah. um, apparently the director told him to do three different takes one where he knows patrick is the killer one where he thinks patrick isn't the killer and then one where he's unsure whether or not patrick is the killer okay gotcha. and so that's kind of she she kind of like splices in all three different reactions throughout their conversation yeah i was, I was wondering about that during that that conversation I was yeah. like, does he does he like he seems pretty chill but like i don't know like i i feel like he's suspicious you know yeah. but, but then he says to his co-workers like at a later time that like it's not really like a big deal he kind of like he kind of puts it off a little more yeah you know? yeah um, that was done intentionally um, to try and you know trick the audience or whatever you know yeah. it, it's do you think he knew i mean i, I mean pro- probably not right right um yeah I, I i i couldn't imagine him knowing for the sake of the movie right um because I mean, he's a detective. Like, surely and even he if would've... he does know, I, I like nothing's going to happen to Patrick because yeah, he's still going about his life, and nothing's really changed for him. And yeah, no doubt, he, he could kill the detective and probably get away with it. Yeah, yes, yeah. And that's a uh, something I just remembered is the end scene when he's talking to his lawyer, and he calls him a different. I don't remember what he calls him, but he calls him a different name, and he was like, "It was so funny that you called me and you were pretending to be Bateman." Um, and then he's like crying, like like I am Bateman, you know. Like, and he's yeah. I remember when I first saw that, I was thinking like, is is that not Patrick Bateman? Like, is he someone else? Is someone else Patrick Bateman? Gotcha. Yeah. Um, but it's also like earlier in the film, Paul Allen also mistook him for someone yeah. else, and then he sort of led him along, thinking that he was this other guy. Mm-hmm. And that's where it goes with the conformity theme of like everyone that works there; they all look the same. They all wear the same clothes. They all get the same haircut. Everybody's so just, it doesn't really matter who they are. Like they could literally be a psychopath killer, and yeah, they they're all fine. could be the same exact person. But it's like, like nobody's gonna give a shit. Or yeah, no one really cares difference. because they all sort of the same. Yeah, get you, get you, Yeah, I mean, I, I guess anything could be really. I mean, that that could be said for really any form of society, right? Mm-hmm. Like if if you were in one societal niche or group then like that that's primarily where you're going to see everybody yeah. kind of blends in you're, yeah. and then if you see somebody who's crazy and exotic looking right you see the foreign girl from another country you're like god yeah. damn like what the hell you know like um your eyes pop open like that's why they like stare yeah. at foreigners on foreign beaches sometimes you know yes yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know um but what do you think of the movie, Joseph? Oh, I think it's a, I think it's a classic film. It's a great film. It's a yeah. family friendly, uh, great story about a guy who just wants to fit in. Hey, no doubt. No you, doubt, no Liam, doubt. you talk a bit more about the film. I'm going to be right back. Hey, sounds good. Sounds just good. Keep talking about the film. Dude. Lordy, you're going to go for it. I mean, I um, I, I I've heard about this movie growing up. Obviously, I just started watching it. Um, a couple of days ago, and uh, I never knew that it was like one of those Sigma male movies. You know, like I, I didn't know that it had that that um, little thing on it, that little tag on it. You know, um, but I didn't know that this was a subgenre uh, by any means. Like I, I, I didn't see that coming. Um, but you learn something new every day, and I uh, <laughs> ready to fight. <laughs> God damn! Perfect. Is that where we're ending it? <laughs> yeah, we're ending it there. Okay. <laughs>